My name's Carl Valentine and I was a member of the 1986 Canada World Cup team in Mexico. When you look at that 86 team, um, I was playing in England uh, and I think it was the only one professionally uh, playing outdoor. A lot of the players weren't on teams. Um, uh, we had George Pecos, who was a water meter player. You look at what those players achieved not playing in professional teams. That was a pretty incredible team. So when you look at player for player, no, but that uh, 86 team and what they did is comparable to what the, this team has done in this qualifying for sure. Uh, we were treated exceptionally well. Um, the, uh, the stadiums were, were fantastic, they were full. Um, obviously, uh, we didn't play in Azteca. We did uh, when we played Mexico a few times and uh, we never come, <laughs> I don't think it was 4-0, 4-0, whatever, we went there, but I don't think Mexico was, uh, had got beat at Azteca for so many years. But um, of, of course, you had the, uh, the Maradona uh, England game, the hand of God uh, that year in, Mex uh, in Mexico. It was a memorable World Cup and I think uh, for them to put it on such short notice uh, uh, shows that they were well capable of uh, producing a, a fantastic World Cup and it certainly was. You know, when you're, you're out there, you feel a little bit isolated, right? Because you're not in Mexico City where all, you know, the, uh, the, the buzz is. Um, but, you know, number one sport in Mexico, everyone was uh, talking about the World Cup. Everyone uh, was, uh, wanted to see games, the stadiums were full, the atmosphere was fantastic. Um, and I, I just enjoyed um, training, facilities were great. Um, and, and I just enjoyed every match uh, uh, that we played in that World Cup. Uh, I think the, the people of Mexico just uh, made it so memorable for us. Um, but they beat Hungary, I think, 6-0, uh, their first game. So then you're going, wow, that was a tough game. And it was a tough game. They were a, a quality team as well. Um, so we were um, in a tough group, but I think the thing we did was that we battled hard. Uh, we lost 1-0 to France, 2-0 to, to Russia, so we didn't embarrass ourselves um, and that was important because then you can still have memories, you can talk about it. If you're getting beat 6-0, 7-0, then it's kind of, you want to forget about it, not talk about it. So um, they were very, very tough games, but I think that we did enough to uh, be able to hold our heads up high. We, we did do ourselves, a, uh, give it a lot of credit. Um, I think uh, Platini after the uh, press conference because he kind of looked and there was like uh, I think what his question was well you know it was Kennedy uh, more or less was he embarrassed he only won 1-0 and he says you know what Kennedy was a good team and we're happy that we won the game and I think that uh, what Kennedy did um, because obviously you know you, you're kind of like a third world country in, in the state of soccer with all these powerhouses is that uh, you know people looked at us and we got some respect uh, the way we played the way we handled ourselves um, and uh, you know that was rewarding we qualified for the world cup i thought we was going to qualify for every every world cup after that and obviously we didn't um, you know i think back then all the clubs uh, that made the world cup got a a million dollars plus which was a lot of money back in the days and you thought you'd get that back into the soccer in youth soccer produce players the league and stuff and it never materialized you know we never had a professional league for well how many years right it's just happening now so that that really hurts you because then um, Canadian players got a little bit of credibility because we played in the World Cup um, but still they had nowhere to go so even if they there was no uh, outdoor league here, the, well the Canadian Soccer League uh, started up and that was the nearest we got to qualifying because we played Mexico uh, in Toronto and mm -hmm. if we beat them we would have qualified and well, obviously we didn't because they were a good team, we lost that game 2-1 but that was the closest we came and that's because we had a Canadian Soccer League and then that folded and that was a big hindrance to us 
throughout the years not having a place for young Canadian players to uh, develop their skills. You know, every country in the world, especially even in CONCACAF, you know, they have their own professional leagues and we never had one here in Canada and it really hurt us for a long, long, long time. Alan Ball, who was a World Cup winner for uh, England in 1966. It's the only way I can get that in because it's the only time we won it. But um, he was on our team when we won the soccer ball in 79. And uh, he said to me and uh, Bruce Gro Grobelar, the goalkeeper, he said, you know, take everything in because it goes quick. He said, try to uh, just take everything in, embrace it. And that's what the, them players have to do. They're qualifying for a World Cup. They're playing uh, the, the best teams in the world. Um, obviously, you have to go out and per perform uh, on the day, but you've got to just take it in, just embrace it, um, because a lot of hard work to get there, and you never know, as players, if you're going to get back there again. So you really have to take it in, enjoy it, um, because uh, getting to a World Cup is a hard thing.